this is gonna be a real challenge I got this board from Mark just out this and this is really really looking bad so I have to clean it up and see if I can recover something out of this uh, such a shame I started with a quick wash on the sink. I normally don't wash with water, I prefer to do alcohol, but in this case it was so filthy and so full of grime and rust that I didn't care in this part. I needed to really, really have a very strong wash. So here it is, I did a real good job with, you know, soap and water and a good brush, good strong brush. And as you can see, you know, the water came out really, really dirty. So, this was really neat. Once it was cleaned, I dry pop a little bit and started by remove the battery. And also I wanted to take a closer look at all the rust and what happened and what was affected. So, by shaking a little bit, I, I removed the battery, it was really gone, and even the plastic case was very bad and broken, so that's the gun. So I proceeded to clean up a little bit more with brush and now time with alcohol and to look at all the, the issues and what is bad and what's happening. Now that I have removed uh, the most uh, of the part and I can see everything cleaner, I begin to remove all the big pieces of crust or the rust encrusted on the chips. And as you can see, I gotta take them out in big pieces, big chunks at the beginning. So then I, later I can work in a more fine phase. But right now I'm taking all the big chunks. can see I'm looking with a strong light and I'm looking at the little parts and now I begin to check which parts are rusted and nicely and very finely I'm beginning to take out that crust with my tool I'm trying to make sure that I don't break anything underneath I just do a very very slight force on it little by little to take out layer by layer until I can see the the bottom of it. I'm also using an exacto knife and alcohol so very finely I'm trying to be very gentle and just take out that crust little by little so I can get some more layers. I did another inspection of the board and I'm looking at more areas that are affected but really the most affected is this chip over here on the sides and this other one. Uh, on the back there's just a couple of little nicks over there and I begin to take out the, the solder so I can remove those chips. And I'm going to clean up, clean up, clean up until I can remove them safely. point I switched to a Dremel metal brush and I just did it by hand I didn't want it to use the Dremel tool because I wanted to make sure that I didn't apply too much pressure on it I'm just trying to get rid of all the grime and not affecting the base or you know all the components so I'm trying to do this 
very softly, very easily, and it's little by little I'm taking out all the rust and all the uh, grime that it's accumulated over there. As you can see, I'm also adding, every time that I'm brushing, I'm adding some alcohol so it doesn't just uh, affect all the things. I'm trying to be very gentle with everything. I'm also taking advantage of the brush and take out all the rust that was in the metal part over here. Now I'm ready to remove the components. I'm gonna remove that long chip over there. So I'm applying a little bit of flux and I'm gonna begin to take out uh, as much as I can of the soldering on the back uh, to remove those chips because they are, I'm sure they are already very rusted underneath. ready to remove the chip now so as you can see I'm being very very gentle and very very careful I don't want to damage anything so this process took me about 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure that little by little I tried to push it around and move it around so it got you know all the rust and all the grime that was in there finally broke in and and I could take it out complete and it was a difficult process and lengthy process but it was really successful. Finally the chip gave in and as you can see look underneath it it's really really grimy and ugly so after that of course I had to take it out and clean everything. So again, more alcohol and a nice brush took care of everything. Also I brushed the chip underneath and making sure that everything is clean and getting rid of the most of the grime and the rust. At this point I had to be very very gentle and patient. This is very detailed work that I have to do it little by little because I don't want to get you know damaged the board so I gotta do it little by little until I see the rust gone but I don't want to take up any of the copper underneath or you know anything else so I had to do this little by little it took me a lot of time and it's very del delicate work I tried to add some solder 
to remove some of these parts, but really the rust was so impregnated that in some of these areas it was almost impossible. I took a break from the top part and went to the underneath part where the chips of memory are and uh, there was some rust that filled through it but you know, I, I think it just sipped through it. It was not really damaging too much so I just have to clean up a little bit, again take out everything that was uh, rusted and uh, take it out with an um, X-Acto knife and making sure that nothing remained there. I removed the next chip next to it. It took me a long time and it was more difficult than I thought. At the end I have to almost pry it out, but I, I saved uh, a lot of the pinpoints. Unfortunately, you know, it took me a long time because I, I did want to save that chip, but as you can see, it's unsavable. It's really bad. Here the rust went into the holes where the chip goes in so I had to actually with a little pin try to redo the holes underneath and you know it was easy to just, just put something in there and push it and all the rust it became dust when you just move it around so I could clean them up. Here I'm cleaning on the other side of the board, the same holes, you know, I'm making sure that the holes are completely open and later of that I'm just going to clean them up and make sure that there's still some copper over there. Well, here's the final product. I think this uh, cleaned a lot better than I expected. So I'm gonna try to replace the chips that I took out and look for an SE to test it and making sure that the board is working, but I have high hopes. I hope you liked the video. Please remember to subscribe, watch the other videos and thank you for watching.